Uh, hi everyone, uh, back to our um, Sharing for Success uh, podcast. Um, today we've got Peter Heath from Do North PR, uh, based in Kitty Kitty. Peter, how are you today? Hey everybody. Yeah, doing well, thanks, Anne. Yep, um, all very, uh, all very positive. Sort of eight days in, and and still managing to uh, to keep above the ground. So that's a good thing. Fantastic. Um, so Peter, tell me a little bit about your company and your role within the company. Um, I run a small public relations business in Kerry Kerry called Due North, sure. um, and uh, we are a, very much a one-man band. That's pretty much all that uh, the bus local business environment will uh, will support. But I buy in um, specialist support from time to time. Perfect. Um, so uh, dur during the COVID four period, um, what sort of services can you offer people? Well, for us, and it's pretty much uh, business as usual. Um, so we're offering a full range of communication services um, for, for clients. Um, I think there's a lot of confusion sometimes about what public relations is. Um, I, I, I liken it very much to a, to a, to a friendship. Um, and it's all about, uh, it's all about two way communication. And you know, um, in, in, if any mate of yours started talking, primarily and predominantly about himself all the time. It's not a friendship that would probably last, right? Yeah. So um, any kind of communication um, is two-way and any kind of relationship has to be two-way. So um, I'm involved in creating relationships through two-way communication between an organization and um, the various publics. So that work continues um, come rain, storm or sunshine. Um, and um, I'm very fortunate in that regard. That's, um, that's good. Well, it's good to hear business as usual. Yeah. Um, so um, talking about your clients, what are the sort of key pieces of advice you're giving them um, for, this, for this period? Oh, look, um, I think, I think a, a key piece of advice that, uh, that, that, that people are really sort of struggling with at the moment is pay particular attention to your staff um, and your customers um, and your suppliers. How you treat them at this particular point in time um, is really going to uh, work for you or against you um, in the in in the in the months to come. Um, as we keep hearing, we're we're all in this together, and so it's really a question of making sure that you don't try and sort of lump all the pain in 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 one direction. I I heard a beautiful story yesterday about a um, about a large retail brand tenant. Um, who advised 20 different landlords around the country that they intended to simply stop paying their rent um, simply because their tenancy agreements uh, allow them to do so. Now, this is a, this is a retail brand that, that, that benefited um, quite substantially in the, um, the run-up to the lockdown. And so they were selling um, a lot of stuff. So the landlords have all sort of come together um, and um, that retail brand is going to find it really difficult to, uh, to find premises to operate from um, in New Zealand when this thing is all over. So that's a, that's a classic example of the, of, of the kind of behavior that I'm talking about. Um, you know, we are in all of this together. And so really it's a question of just being, being decent human beings and um, uh, managing through it together. So I think, that's a, I think that's a key piece of advice. The other piece of advice is sort of keep it down to a dull roar. Um, you know, there, there, there is, people have so much to process right now that they yeah. really don't, yeah. they don't need to hear from you about how your employees are washing their hands. They really don't. Um, if you've got something significant to say or something that's important in the context of what we're going through, then by all means say it. But otherwise, I'd say let it keep. Um, yeah. And the other, the, other, the other piece of advice that, um, that, that's generally landing quite well is, is all about testing new ways of working, new communication channels. We're all, uh, we're all experiencing the delights of Zoom, for example, um, for the first time for many of us. Um, and we're seeing how it works really well um, in, a, in, in a time of strife. Well, you know, experiment with it. Experiment with different types of technology, different apps, and see how you might be able to use that moving forward when things sort of approach um, something resembling the old normal. Yeah, I think that's um, that, that's critical. Just getting back to people, um, get, getting a new way of communicating with them, and perhaps they've got a little more time than normal. So yeah, that's that's ideal. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what about uh, in sort of um, 
a general advice to everyone. I, I suppose you've really covered that, um, covered that through. Um, engaging with your own customers. Uh, oh, sorry. So gen generally, what do you what do you think could work? Okay. Well, you know, I'm like a lot of us, I guess. I'm using the time. Um, it's just such a luxury to have a little bit of time. Um, it's tempting to spend it all outside in the garden right now uh, with the uh, with the kind of weather we've got. I'm just looking looking behind you at your 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 magnificent garden. Um, so it's quite tempting to get out there and and, and spend it all out there, but um, now's the time to work on your business, I guess, in a way that you've never been able to work on it before. So for me, it's all about planning. You know, how are you going to survive this? Um, look at the different scenarios that might, um, that might occur and how, they, how this thing might work out and how is your business placed um, and, and how are you going to be able to respond to those various different scenarios. I mean, yeah. people that I know are planning for a, for, for a lockdown that might extend into the in, in, into the sort of two month three month kind of period. We none of us know what's in store for us um, in the future, but it's just a question of planning. So we're not surprised and on the back foot when we get it. Um, how can we adapt to take advantage of new products and new services that um, perhaps new whole new different sets of customers are going to need from us uh, moving forward? So it's a little bit of a little bit of blue sky thinking, a little bit of visioning, and. I find it really useful to get together with a with a bunch of like-minded people um, every couple of days using something like Zoom, just to chew the fat and figure out what might be in store. Yeah, there's certainly some good news stories. Um, I just heard of a company in uh, in near Cambridge who's a shop fitting company, and not much that going on at the moment. So they've retooled and are building um, stand up desks for at home uh, and um, screens for for retail stores. So great success story of someone thinking of what's required now retooling and, uh, and keeping business going. So That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely fabulous um, sort of success stories. And when we come to telling those stories, which is, which is part of what I do, um, the landscape has changed significantly. We've just heard today of the closure of Bauer Publishing. Um, mm. They publish Woman's Day and a whole bunch of magazines and, 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 and other different publications. We've heard, certainly up here in Northland, we've heard of the closure, uh, at least temporarily, of the Northland Age. And um, there is, uh, there, there's a lot of skepticism that uh, that particular newspaper is, is going to come back to life after this. So the, the, whole, the whole media landscape is changing. So the question then becomes, how do you get out there and tell your stories? Yeah. Now, before COVID-19 started, there was a whole bunch of different um, discussions going on around um, taking ownership of the narrative and starting to, uh, organizations starting to tell their stories through their own channels and taking yeah. control of how their stories were told um, rather than through the intermediary of a, of a journalist or a, or a media outlet. That's going to become ever more and, and, and ever more important um, as, the, as the months and years uh, track out um, after this event. And believe me, um, the media environment um, has been changing right around us for the last I don't know, five or six years really significantly, this is gonna, this is gonna mark a step change in the way that environment works. Yeah, definitely. I think that's um, where the, um, just being aware of what's going on, keeping up with the news, that's not just the COVID news, looking around for, for the, the other news going on and yeah, keep yourself, in, keep yourself informed. Yeah, that's, uh, it's, and, 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 and I, I, think, I think the challenge is to keep ourselves, um, keep ourselves optimistic, you know, keep ourselves upbeat. Um, and I think, I, th I think there are a couple of really good ways to do that. Um, and, and for me, it's about, it's about keeping busy, number one. Um, it's about maintaining a, a home life balance, which believe it or not, is a lot more difficult to do when you're working from home. Um, mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and the third thing is developing a routine. Um, and so, so for me, that, that those, those are really, these are things that I can do that, um, that, that, that mean that I sort of, uh, that I'm able to sort of um, fight off the uh, fight off the dark thoughts, if you like, um, and 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 so so for me, I'm I'm my routine is that I'm now working um, in the mornings. I'm kind of rationing the work that I do have. Yes. So rather than finishing all of the work that I've got in 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 the first week of the lockdown, I'm kind of rationing it over the three week period, and yep. I'm working in the mornings, and I'm using the afternoons really to um, to do a bit of networking. Um, and importantly, to, um, to 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 muck around with my family. You know, the kids the kids are needing a little bit more sort of parent time, a little bit more parent attention right now. 
Um, so I'm using the afternoons to do that kind of thing. Um, and um, yeah, and, and, and that, that gives me the, the home life balance thing. And it also helps me sort of jump into that uh, new routine that I'm talking about. The challenge is going to be um, creating an, uh, a, a new normal routine at the end of this when we come out of level four that's going to be that's going to be a whole new uh, set of challenges yeah yeah certainly a number of people have shared keeping up a sort of regular work day um so that when you do move back into that um we're, we're used to it and and are ready to go so yeah um yeah. certainly a different time and and good to keep uh, keep going with it yeah um, it's good to see people, it's good to see people like you doing this kind of thing um, yeah. And um, when I talk about communication and I talk about um, sort of relationship development and, and engagement, which is which is what I do, um, this is a classic example of the kind of thing that people could be doing. Yeah. Um, look, it's good. And people have been really generous sharing their time, sharing their experiences, and their aim is to help other people um, make sure we can all get through this the, the best, best we can. Um, and yeah, maybe have a bit of fun along the way. So it's, um, Absolutely, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah. Speaking, speaking of which, Ant, I'm looking forward to that beers on the boat session that you're going to be setting up with us very shortly. Perfect. We've a number of Zoom calls invol involving drinks uh, with with the team and with workmates. So um, yeah, it's always a always always a good one to to, to keep keep uh, in touch with socially as well as if we can't do it in, in person. Uh, so, so it's good. Um, what are you doing to keep up beat, Pete? Um, in terms of uh, just just staying uh, positive in the world. Okay, well, you know, like, like I said just a minute ago, it's, it's all, for me, it's all about routine. Um, and it, it's, it's all about um, keeping busy, creating that routine, and maintaining that home life balance. Yeah, that's, um, that's really good. Hey, excellent. That's, um, so oh, that's well, and one got thing, him. one thing I've got to mention, I've got a big shout out to my, uh, to my friend Craig in Western Australia, who gave me the single best piece of advice I've received from anyone. Um, over this entire period yep no news after seven o'clock at night oh brilliant yeah shut down the news turn off the social medias concentrate yep. on your friends and your family and just get yourself in that zone there is absolutely nothing like nothing like watching news till midnight to make sure you don't sleep yeah yeah, we've certainly had the uh, the cards and the board games out to have a bit of family time at uh, at home, and that's been yeah quite a positive way to, to put the day to bed. Absolutely, brilliant. Okay, that was um so that's Peter Heath from Due North PR. Um, I'll include his link to his to his company on our on the on the links below. Um, but thanks for your time, Pete. Really appreciate it, and uh, look thanks, forward to you soon. And good luck. <laughs>